Welcome to the Art Lady channel. Today I'm going to talk about my corner cabinets, which I designed to house my coffee maker. And this is actually in place of a coffee bar. I wanted a coffee center that was hidden inside my cabinets. Now, when I talked to my brother about this, he recommended not to have um, a coffee maker inside a cabinet because of the condensation and buildup. And he is a cabinet builder, designer, um, in a professional cabinet company. company. And he uh, has customers coming with kitchens, cabinets that have been ruined and need to be replaced because they left their coffee makers inside the cabinet when they brewed their coffee. Well, what I found is uh, that if I use my K-cup machine or Keurig machine right in here, you can use this type of a machine inside your cabinets because it's not turned on for very long. There's not a lot of condensation and uh, steam buildup from the coffee. Um, I leave my Keurig on. I make just one cup in the morning and then it's turned off and um, I don't even pull it out. And it's been in this cupboard for two years and I haven't had any damage. Um, but what you cannot do is if you have a coffee center or a coffee machine that holds a pot of coffee, that's creating condensation in your inside your cabinets and then it will settle on the top of your cabinet up in, up in here and cause damage, water damage to the wood. And over time, you could probably get a buildup of all kinds of things over time with that moisture inside that cabinet, which is not a good thing. But this Keurig machine seems to work okay in this coffee center. And that's because I don't brew a lot of coffee and I don't have the open pot machines. But this is a perfect um, solution. I mean, if you do have those kind of machines, just pull them out when you're brewing and you won't damage your um, cabinets. But this little corner space is a great way to utilize this space. Now for me, I wanted the look, I wanted all of this kind of stuff in my kitchen hidden. I didn't want any of this eyesore to be left on my counter. And so I opted to go right from the ceiling to the cabinet, to the counters with this cupboard so that this area is like a little hidden nook for my coffee and and everything I have or need is inside that cupboard. I store the K-cups in a rack back here behind the maker and then I also store bottles of syrup and then this place this space also has plenty of space for an extra rack there I store my coffee, and I also have on that rack um, uh, the, the different um, K-cup parts that go in the machine for the different, if I want to brew it with the basket or if I want to brew it right with the K-cup, the uh, little attachments. And I also even have room on that shelf for grinders, uh, coffee grinders. So everything I need, and then of course I'm in the spoon rest. So everything I need with my coffee is just right at my fingertips and right there on the counter for me. And I don't have to see it once I'm done using the coffee maker. I just simply close the door and then the clutter is hidden behind this um, door and that's what I wanted in my kitchen. I wanted almost nothing on my counters. I, I wanted it to be able to be wiped down clean and easy and nothing cluttering up this kitchen. Uh, when I designed the kitchen, I designed it for ease of cleaning and with this little coffee maker here um, or coffee center, this works. But remember if you're brewing a pot of coffee and you're, you're hiding your coffee behind these little doors on your, on, in this cabinet and that you keep that pot of coffee out. You're not putting any moisture in these cupboards because that again can ruin your cabinet. But with that K-cup machine, after two years, there's you know no damage and, I've, and I don't take it out. I leave the K-cup machine inside um, in that coffee brewing set station. There. 
Um, I hope that you enjoy this little tidbit on how to make your coffee station and um, stay tuned and look for other kitchen ideas and tips in my videos. And if you enjoy it, subscribe. It'll help me make more videos. Thank you.